can't. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Broncos, pound for Super Bowl 50. We're finally going to do my first ever prediction. That is the day of the Super Bowl. About time I'm doing it. This early. Immortality is in sight. We're nearing kickoff. In uh, this I keep Super Bowl matchup that. between the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos. We join you from the Carolina Panthers. I'm just turning up the volume so you yeah, guys can hear the game game. And I also want this up quick. I think I'm gonna have a game end this, but I just want this to be playing more because of the side roll. There we go. So now you guys should be able to hear the in game. The week long hikes. The, the teams, teams are in position now, and, and now, now they, they can settle, settle things on the field. field. Yeah, Greg Olson from Wayne Hills High School in New Jersey, coached by his father, Chris Olson, terrific high school college player. And how about this? He's a terrific NFL player also. Second and nine. Looking to the right side and throwing. To leads in on the tackle. A dominating force at wide receiver is Brandon Marshall. Every team is looking for a wide receiver just like Brandon Marshall. Can we find a guy that's about 6'3 or 6'4, built like a running back, and can make people miss? Well, ball is out. That brings the play to an end. Talib's the one who brings him to the ground. What a lucky break this time. They fumble, but they recover it and maintain possession. NFL team. How can I remove myself from this game? I like uh, the same size. So I can uh, Every single day they work with anybody that's going to handle the football. How to hold it. He didn't do a good job that time. That's why he fumbled. He's going to be tackled right around the 21 yard line. Rhythm, you hear it so often in sports, and it is true, especially on the offensive side. That's another first down by the offense. They've got some rhythm, and these kind of these kind of drives usually lead to scores. is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Stewart's going to take the handoff now. In on the stop. The offense has done a good job. They're now down inside the 20, but here's where it gets tough because your plays are limited because the field has been shrunk. Stewart's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Second down and seven. They feed it to him one more time. That's a gain of only a yard. You got to go. You're going to run the football. You're going to have a lot of short games. It's 
there's going to be a lot of plays that look ugly. That's just the way it is. You got to live with it and know what's coming in the future. Third and six. Throws to the right. Reaches out and snatches it. Boy, that was a promising drive for quite a while. And finally, the defense steps up. Uh, the defense stepped up, but also. Boy, and the a, final score of this game is my prediction. On third down, didn't give the offense the final, a chance, too. and the defense took advantage of it. Drives it through for the field goal. Field goal is good. You always want to be rewarded for a nice drive in a football game, even when it's a field goal. Because you've made a lot of good plays, you've executed them, you got yourself in position to get some points, and that field goal just reinforces everything. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down at quarterback. One of the most dominant players to ever play the position, and he's been in the league since 1998, Peyton Manning. First down at the 27. Manning keeps it. Launching it deep, but it's incomplete. Incomplete. Here's a look at the offense, and watch out today for Demarius Thomas, who is tremendous after the catch. Well, we have this phrase that we say, and we mean it adoringly. Demarius Thomas is a beast, absolutely on the outside. He can run by you, he can run around you, he can fake you out. He just has everything you want in a wide receiver. And he's thrown to the ground. Here's a look at the defensive starters. And a good look at the secondary. A group that could be the difference in this game today. Third down now. The Broncos in the pistol formation. Manning uncorks a long pass. And McClain nearly picked off that pass. Well, you're down. Here you are in the first half of the game. If it was fourth and short, I could see the coach trying to switch things around. He, he might go for it. But we have fourth and long. Punt that football down there. Don't make a decision that puts your team in a hole that you can't get out of. Tackles made. Bill, here at the Super Bowl, how much bigger has this game gotten since you were the MVP of Super Bowl 21? But Jim, it, it's colossal. That's the only word I got for it. And what has happened, which I don't agree with, now it's all about just winning the Super Bowl. Everything you do during a regular season, we just wipe it away. It's how you play in this game. Do you win or lose? And that's how you judge. Not fair, but that's the way it is. Second down now. Watch the blitz. Watch the blitz. Newton lines up in the pistol. Hand off to Jonathan Stewart. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. The Panthers offensive coordinator, he had to be frustrated by that play. I'm lucky I'm not losing the music while I'm doing this. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Newton standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And after only three plays, that incompletion brings us to fourth down. I think as time has gone on, more and more coaches and teams, we see them going for it on fourth and short. But this decision, you're, you're winning the game, fourth and short, you're near midfield, I don't think you go for it. Don't let the pressure of the fans or your players get into your mind. Put the football away. That's the right decision. Brought down at the 26. Team. Well, contact First around down. the knees, and they flagged them for the clipping call. Uh, it, it, it did. It was a good call. Uh, listen, you got to hold your breath when you see plays like that. You just hope somebody doesn't get hurt. First and ten. Manning's able to fake into the line and still has it. Very nearly intercepted. Well, just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. The Broncos come out of the pistol. Manning with the give and games maybe four. Number 
That was a power running play that time by the offense and picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Manning comes out in the pistol. And five. And incomplete. The defense. What? Job forcing fourth down in a hurry. This is what separates offensive lines in the NFL in obvious passing situations like the. catch defense was close all around you there was nowhere to go first down and ten Jonathan Stewart with the football for about four number 28 always good to have these types of runs yeah it's not a first down but it sends a message it shows him After one quarter, after three quarters of this, two quarters of this year's Super Bowl, Broncos lead Carolina 38 to 9. Did my Spotify premium run out? And this game is coming down to the wire. 32 to 44 is the score right now. 35 to... And we'll rejoin the option at one minute and... The Broncos bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Anderson's lined up as the single back. Now first and ten. Osweiler's gonna keep it. Going deep. Looking for Demary. Oh, I use their pick a pick. They intercepted. They intercepted. Oh great. When you get an opportunity like this, you wanna take advantage of it. The 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 now, can their offense take advantage of this situation? Sticks to his hands. Mm. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Newton's going to take it from the gun. And off the mark on that short throw. It's always dangerous with your receivers running the drag route. My victory gone by me. My Uber mom. I'm done. And he's brought down. Jim, they're in the red zone, and what they have to do here is score as fast as you can so you can give yourself a few more opportunities. Looks to his left. Ball's on the ground. 
a recovery by the defense. Nice. That's helpful for the job. You got to protect the football on the offensive side. When you don't protect it the way these defensive players can run, you're going to get in trouble, and that time it results We're running it. Osweiler's setting up now in the pistol. Anderson's in the backfield. Single back set. R1, R1. Someone pick that ball. Up. Oh, Johnson. That'll stop the play right there. Well, that time the What's so exciting about this Super Bowl? That is. There's no chance of hanging on. That's one drive. And so fast. First and goal from the six. And he's forced to the ground. Did they call time? Second down. They're dumb. They have timeouts. I don't see them using them. Newton's got it in the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Brown's brought down and then they're picking up six on this play. Third and goal at the four. Vaughn Miller has him behind the line of scrimmage. The Broncos call the timeout. They're first. They bring back out the offense to go for it. Watch man. See the man. Hey, man, man, man. Newton has everybody split out wide for this snap. Takes it from the gun. Touchdown! This game is tight. This is why a head coach gets paid so much money. You get in situations like this, they have to make the call on four to go. He goes for it, and they get it. It's good. The Panthers are about to kick the football back, but it's the offense celebrating and the defense doing all the setup. That fumble recovery gave them great field position setting up the score. Bush is tackled down at the 43. The Broncos come onto the field for their next series. Anderson's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. The Broncos take it from the 43. On the money. The Panthers signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. They return to the red zone with the lead late in the game. Now this is about managing the football game. Here we go. The final play of this Super Bowl prediction. Two, one, zero. And the winner, my Super Bowl prediction winner, is the Broncos. 52, 50 to zero, 42. The Denver Broncos have won the Super Bowl. The Lombardi Trophy heading back to Denver. Phil, Phil, you experienced, you experienced it. You won, you won a Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. I'm, looking, I'm down looking down at the field, field seeing all those players. players. I can only imagine what it's, what it's like. like. It doesn't even seem real. real. That's, That's what it is. is. You just, you just when, you when you go to work, work each training, training camp, camp, you think, okay, okay it's all going to fall away, away and we're going to get it done. But when it actually happens, you just can't imagine that it all fell into place. That everybody lived up to their expectations and got it done. What a great feeling. They did it. Now let's see who is my super, who is my MVP prediction if the Broncos win. Are you kidding me? I just lost the prediction. So. Talk about a line score. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Bye for now.